Hey everyone, I'm Pia, and I thought I'd give you a view of my fish room, which is also my living room. I had fish in my teens, my late teens. I had a 30 gallon, a 20 gallon, a 34 gallon, and a 10 gallon. So I had a variety. I had everything from African cichlids to guppies. I had goldfish, I had angels, and I just had a ball with all of them and the family enjoyed them. Uh, right now this is my 29. This is what I went, I started with an old 10 gallon just to see if I wanted to do it and sure enough I did. And here is my really nice 29 gallon. I'm enjoying this tank so much. This has my live bears in it. This is a super peaceful tank. It has different varieties of mollies, platies, guppies. Um, I did have six uh, harlequin rasboras. Unfortunately, I lost three. I was able to save the others um, using medications. And I have a little fat balloon molly male in there and some, well, let's see what else. I've got a coolie loach who's doing his hiding thing. I see him in the mornings. He comes out to feed because I usually feed and the lights are low in the house. Anyway, so that's that group. Also, here's my 20 gallon. This is my baby tank. This is my grow out 20 gallon tank. I have some balloon mollies in there. I have some guppies. I have cherry shrimp. I have panda coris, coris and also some little uh, picnic quarries in there. So that's my little grow out tank. Then I have my final edition right now, my 55. And it has angels, it has Madagascar rainbows, it has rosy barbs, blood thins, and tetras, and candy cane tetras. So there's a whole variety in there. I'm enjoying this tank very much. And next to it is Boo Boo Tank. Boo Boo Tank. It's quarantine tank. It's Boo Boo Tank. Um, hospital tank. Right now it's nothing tank. And it's getting ready to move down on the bottom there. So this one's only been up about, let's see, January, June. So about four and a half to five months. And the others have been up since August of last year and the 10 gallon was started in July of last year so we're just about a year on, on uh, all of them. I also have outside two 55 gallon tubs that I'm going to grow out mollies and guppies in. So I have really just been enjoying everybody in these tanks. Uh, the wood in all of my tanks, all the spider wood is from Fishy Business in Longwood. The fish are from Fishy Business in Longwood. And uh, some are from Imperial Tropic, Tropics in Lakeland, Florida. And then uh, the spider wood in here, it's a magnificent piece that I have just adored from the minute I saw it. Um, I knew that was going to be the centerpiece of that tank. And also the one in the 20. Um, it's a little bit different. A couple arms fell off. Um, they were kind of twisted when I got it, but I'm not as worried in that tank because that's my baby tank. And uh, I'll tell you, the shrimp really don't mind it either. So I wanted to do a big old giant set of shout outs to a bunch of YouTube aquarists, hobbyists, fish keepers that have helped me so much in this process get back into it. First, I found Joey, the king of DIY. If you notice, this stand is a Joey design. That is the one that he said you use for the 30 gallon tanks that you could stack three high, but I only did it two. The 20 fit perfectly underneath with the 29. So I followed his directions. His instructions cost me $26 to make. Then, in the corner there, see that Eheim feeder? Well, that's my baby tank. Instead of just feeding the babies two, three times a day, they now get fed five times a day, a little bit, five times a day. 
but they get brine in the morning and at night, and then they get good mix of different foods during the day. That's from Corey at Aquarium Co-ops. I can't thank you enough for that. Also, Corey um, did a recent series on how he quarantines, and I used it to clean up all my tanks where you use the API General Cure and let it run uh, its course in the tank. I do for a week because I do water changes every week. I do 25-30% roughly on each of them. The 30 gallon gets a 10 gallon change. The uh, 20 gets around 6. Usually that's about what it ends up. The 55 I've done anywhere from 15 to 20 gallons. So keep them all happy and then the 10 gets whatever it's in need of at that time. I also want to do a shout out to the Mass Aquariums. Greg Jones, MA Fish Guy. And Don, you just stay old school, man, because I've got a lot of old school knowledge, but you've got even more than I do. And I want to also thank all the local businesses that have been wonderful to deal with, uh, from Fishy Business, where I've gotten fish, supplies, and beautiful decorations. They have um, this beautiful rock that is in my... This is, camera is not going to do it justice. That beautiful rock there is from Fishy Business. They really have some gorgeous supplies for your aquariums. The sponge filter, which you can't see as easily behind that rock, is a 180 gallon sponge filter. I did cut down a little bit off of it so it fit in the corner better. And that is also from Fishy Business. The beautiful piece of spider wood in there, that drift piece, is also from Fishy Business and all the plants in there. Uh, so they've been wonderful to deal with. They're in Longwood, Florida. And you can find them on Facebook and you can find them at fishybusiness.com. Uh, also, I want to thank Imperial Tropicals out in Lakeland, Florida for their beautiful angelfish and some of their mollies. Also, I purchased from them some food recently and all the hornwort in my tanks or my tubs outside, which you'll see in a moment. Well, thank you so much. You all have been such a joy to watch, and you've answered my questions when I've called, I mean, when I've written comments. I, I couldn't ask for anything more getting back into this hobby. Um, I forgot how much I loved it, but, you know, sometimes life gets in the way and you come full circle. Um, I also have ferrets. There's a lot of people online who know me as having ferrets, and I just have two of them left. Um, they're really cool guys. I got Blake, and I have Colt, and um, Lily, Little Bit, and Osteen have gone on to Duke it, across the Rainbow Bridge. And then, of course, here's my buddy, Twuffles. Hi, Twuffies. How are you? You a good girl? Are you a good doggy? Yes, you are. I love you. Anyway, thank you so much from Pia Online. Take care and may there be peace and happiness in your world.